Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, I am making this juicy chicken and rice recipe. This is a one pot meal, extremely easy to make and of course, full of flavor. If you would like to see how this recipe is done, keep on watching, subscribe if you're new here and let's make this recipe. Here's what you need to make today's recipe. You'll need bell peppers, any color, garlic puree, salt and pepper, chicken bouillon, chicken bouillon base, chopped onion, coconut milk, jasmine rice, and water. Also, you can replace the water for chicken broth if you have some. And you will need four chicken thighs, and as well as the seasoning for the chicken. I'm using Creole seasoning, onion and garlic powder, paprika, lemon pepper, Italian seasoning, and some cumin. Okay, let's begin. Be sure to clean your chicken and remove any fat. As you can see, my chicken I didn't remove the fat. That was one of the mistakes that I made that I'm trying to save you guys from making the same mistake, okay? So now, once I'm done rubbing the oil all over the chicken, it's time to season it. So I'm going to mix the seasoning together with a fork, then generously season this chicken with the seasoning. I added some lemon pepper to this seasoning combo. It's going to give it that zesty flavor. It's like eating a chicken from Pollo Tropical, but gourmet, way better, okay? Don't forget to rub the seasoning underneath the chicken skin as well. I'm going to drizzle about two to three tablespoons of olive oil to my skillet. I'm going to allow it to become nice and hot. Then I'm going to place the chicken thighs skin down because I want a nice beautiful color on the chicken. So place it skin down for about two to three minutes. Once it's nice and golden brown and beautiful, flip it over, allow the other side to be cooked. However, the chicken is not fully cooked, we're just searing the chicken just for color. Now that we flip the chicken over, it's looking good, it's looking beautiful, but it's not done cooking yet. What I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the chicken, set it aside, it's not cooked yet, remember, just set it aside and we're going to cook the veggies. Now you can make this recipe with peas or any other vegetables. You can even add some corn and spinach in there as well if you feel like it. But I'm going to pour in the bell peppers as well as the onions. I'm going to saute these for about two minutes. Then I am going to add my garlic puree. I didn't want to burn the garlic, that's why I added afterwards. Mm -hmm. 
now it's a perfect time for me to add my coconut milk so we're going to pour that in give it a stir also i am going to be adding the water like i said you can use chicken broth as well that's why i added the chicken bouillon base to just use that as the chicken broth okay so i'm going to pour two cups of water in there Now I'm going to add the chicken bouillon base. This is optional. If you are using chicken bouillon, I don't think you really need this. If you don't have it, you don't have to go look for it because I added enough chicken bouillon to this recipe, but I'm going to give that a nice stir just like so. Then we're going to cover it, allow it to simmer. Once it starts simmering, it's time to add the rice. Okay, make sure to wash your rice and the rice I'm using is not cooked it's uncooked i just wash it and place it in the pot now make sure to give that a nice stir just like that and then we are going to place the chicken right in yes the chicken is going to release so much flavor to this rice rice is in my blood you guys we we eat rice every day okay we eat rice almost every day. Don't ask me how. Us Haitian, we eat rice almost every day. Every day, not almost. Every single day. Okay. So I'm going to give that a stir. Then I am going to place the chicken right on top. Just make sure it's in between the sauce. Don't just let it sit. Make sure you press it down. You're going to see me pressing it down to make sure the, the water gets inside it so it can cook that way and then i'm going to cover it turn my heat on medium low so the chicken can cook i'm going to let this simmer for about 20 minutes to 25 minutes once it's done you should have something like this how beautiful make sure to check the chicken now do not just say okay it's cooked let's eat it make sure you have yourself a thermometer and check the chicken so you don't get sick However, I didn't have to do it because it's just me. If your chicken thighs are bigger than mine, they might need a little bit longer to cook. So make sure the inside is thoroughly cooked, okay? This rice looks so fluffy and it's so flavorful. Look at the rice, y'all. And the chicken, oh my God. I'm going to just garnish with some fresh parsley. And you guys, this is the recipe. It took me about 45 to an hour to make this dish. So try it out and let me know what you think. I really hope you enjoyed today's recipe. Do not forget to give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. If you liked it, if you enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye guys.